What's up guys, my name's Levi. I'm from Shred Shop here in Cochrane. We just picked up a new brand, Patagonia. It is so sick. Make sure you guys hop on our website and cop it. We are gonna do an overview explaining to you what it is. All right, let's get into the history of it. Patagonia was started by a guy named Yvonne Twinard. He is one of the most iconic rock climbers in the California area. He pioneered a lot of mountains and he did a lot of Yosemite and there's a lot of cool stuff, but he's the one who started this brand. The cool thing about this brand is Patagonia was started back when climbing was still being pioneered and still being figured out. Yvonne, he went and he went into a metal shop and he started handcrafting crampons and other climbing tools. And that's how Patagonia started was from that moment there. In 1968, they drove a van out to a place called Patagonia. They were climbing, they realized they needed a lot more technical gear, a lot more technical clothing to kind of make it happen and make it easier. And so they named the brand after that place because that's kind of where it's all started. So the cool thing is that Yvonne, he's actually went against the grain. He's never wanted to be a businessman. He's never been into business and into corporations. And so even if you, as you see the brand evolve, Patagonia has always been about people and the product and the experience and the lifestyle before it has been about business. And it's almost put them in bankruptcy multiple different times. Uh, but it really, it, it shows and it tells the story of the brand really cool that way. The cool thing about the way Yvonne runs things is he runs it through and through. It's about the culture and the people. Their offices are located in a place called Ventura, California, which is really close to a really good surf break. And when the waves are breaking, people go out and they're allowed to go out and surf during office hours and let the phones ring off the hook. Some might see that as irresponsible, but we see it as someone who honestly, he lives and breathes his brand and this lifestyle experience. And we, we love it. Yvonne is an honest and true man through and through. It's really cool. They do either 1% of total sales or 10% of the profits that go to environmental charities every year. You don't see any other big corporations doing that. They are constantly on the lookout for how to give back and how to make a difference. Crazy thing, last year on Black Friday, they estimated to sell $2 million in sales. They did over $10 million in sales and they gave away every single penny to hundreds of different charities and organizations across the world. Honestly, that's so punk rock. It's so anti-establishment. You don't see any other corporations or businesses doing anything like that. It's way more about the people and the culture and the lifestyle and pushing it and giving back than it is about building a business. And that's why we love Patagonia. The crazy thing about the 1% for the planet give back is that already by 2016, they had given over $70 million. It's insane. The cool thing is their company ethos or their company motto has always been Number one, that they make the best product. And number two, that they have the least amount of impact on the environment. They'll always be the first to admit, okay, our product's far from perfect, but they are always progressing, always learning, always trying to figure out the best way to do those two things. They're always looking for ways to give back and take care of the environment. A, a straight fact from them is that they were the first company to make a fleece jacket entirely out of pop bottles, recycled pop bottles, and it's crazy because since 1993, they have saved using 20,000 barrels of oil in making these jackets and this clothing, and it's nuts. The crazy thing is they're always, again, they're trying to break new ground. They were one of the first companies to switch to organic cotton for a lot of their items. With regular cotton, pesticides were the issue, so they switched to organic cotton. But then every time they take break new ground and take a step forward, they're seeing new issues, so they notice that water, there was a lot of water waste within organic cotton, so they moved where they were growing their cotton to other places that used a lot of rainwater. And again, every time they kind of find an issue that is making a huge impact on the environment or a huge impact on their clothing, they shift it and they're always growing. It, the, the battle is never ending on how they can do better. That's why Patagonia is sick. So another sick thing, again, with them breaking ground and trying to make a difference, is they go to their factories and say, how much would a t-shirt be to make or how much would this jacket be to make? and they, they get a price that would probably be a, a great price, and then they, they go over and above, they say, okay, now pay your workers better because they wanna make a difference in these workers' lives. You don't hear of any other brand doing this. They're, they're making breaking ground. And so the nice thing is things might be a little bit more expensive on our end, the consumer end, but knowing that you are making a difference in lives across the world just by paying a few extra dollars knowing that Patagonia is taking care of people is huge. By Patagonia paying these workers more, it's disrupting the whole system and making it better because these workers are able to go out and they're spending their money on things like daycare, food, healthcare. It's honestly improving their standard of living by proving that people do want to pay more for a more socially conscious brand and clothing. You're helping people around the world. It's cool. Now you know why it's called Patagucci. If you want more info, hit the link below. Patagonia is, they'll be the first to admit it's not perfect clothing, but they're always growing and always changing, trying to make it better for the environment and really great product. 
Boom, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Levi Switzer, and I am from Shred Shop in Cochrane, Alberta. We carry Patagonia. Make sure you head on to our online store, shredshop.ca, and you guys are going to get it. You're going to get some of this flyest gear, and you're going to feel good about it because you're making difference in people's lives. So they switch to organic cotton, but they always want to take it further. Frick sakes, Levi. South Park, that's what got us right there. Well, it's just I have a, calen a calendar for my TV shows that tell me when I when to watch them. Or, 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 or